Good morning, internet. It is December 3rd. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I've decided that I'm gonna take you guys along with me today for a day in the life. I've just woken up. It's really bright in my room, and it's really dark outside. Let's go make some coffee. After I put together the coffee and I'm waiting for it to be ready, I have to get ready. And I made this cute little spot where I can like sit and do makeup stuff. And I normally eat my breakfast, which today is a cinnamon muffin. Okay, first things first, I'm up so early because I have a therapy appointment this morning, so we're gonna go there before we go to the warehouse. Today was a weird day. I didn't cry at all, which is not normal. I didn't have like a lot to talk about. And I think it's because I've been super busy with work and not really been doing a lot of other stuff. And like, I guess that's probably a good thing, but it also feels weird to be like, I don't know that much progress was made today. But I guess that's just sometimes how it goes. And it means like go to work without feeling like my heart's been ripped out and like, stomped on before uh, I even start the day. It is time to go to the warehouse now because it's 9.05. So uh, let's go get our packing on. It's five o'clock and work is over now. It was super busy, so obviously didn't get to film too much. Now I'm on my way to pick up a prescription and to pick up a stud finder and to pick up some ingredients for dinner tonight because Logan is gonna come over and she's gonna help me put some stuff on my walls, some shelves, and before that, we're gonna go get Juno. I'm exhausted, I kinda wanna take a nap. Maybe I'll have a chance to take a nap in between stuff, but. Oh boy, it was a long day. It feels like it should be Friday instead of Monday. I made it home and Darcy just wants to come say hi. But Darcy, you're not allowed there. Okay, so I'm home and I have two and a half hours before I need to pick up Logan, but I need to get Juno first. And I also need to make or start prepping food. So I think I'm gonna start the squash now because we're gonna have spaghetti squash. And I'm gonna go take a nap because I'm so tired. <laughs> a thing that most people might not know is that in addition to working at the warehouse, I'm working at the warehouse every day. <laughs> so I have not had a day off since Thanksgiving and I don't know when I'm gonna have my next day off so it's just it's, it's real taxing on my brain and my body so a nap sounds really good but I gotta cut a squash open now I'm filming myself so if I cut my finger open <laughs> oh no oh no yes yeah Stephen said that he had had something happen like that with him 
Target. Oh yeah, when he ordered a thing for in-store pickup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Nicole said she had had it happen to her too. Mm -hmm. um, which I think is hilarious. Yeah. I've decided to change plans because I want to get Juno earlier. So I think I'm gonna go get her. Basically, I miss my pup and I wanna see her. Juno. Hi, baby. Hi, come here. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, okay. What are you doing, silly? Look at this crazy puppy. We got it. We're here. We're here. What do you think? What do you think of this house? So Juno's here, but we are currently sitting inside my room because Darcy was a little bit scared. And by that I mean he immediately uh, freaked out. <laughs> but we're hoping that Juno can successfully stay here for a weekend in a couple weekends. So this is the first attempt at trying it out. Juno's used to staying with me. She stayed with me a lot in Woodhouse, so I'm hoping that she chills out and is fine. But she's been hanging out on her own today, so she's a little, a little wound up. I've been wanting to do a video that featured Juno, but if you guys watch my Instagram stories, she's on it a lot because she's my favorite little puppy. And her favorite thing to do is lick your nostrils, like the inside of your nostrils, like that. And we're just hanging out until Logan is done with her shift at Target. And then we're gonna go get her and come back and have some dinner. The squash is currently in the oven cooking. And then we're gonna put some shelves Juno. So right now we are trying to make both Juno and Darcy more comfortable. Darcy is somewhere back there watching us closely. We got Juno on a leash. Our attempt at uh, making Darcy and Juno be okay with each other was not super successful. So now she is attached to me at the hip so that I can get the squash done because it just cooked. Juno. Hey, Juno. Where are you going? Well, we did it. Logan is here. There's spaghetti squash. It was successful. We're also having Charlie's rolls that are super good. <laughs> Juno's sad because she had a couple pieces earlier and now we're not giving her any. Verdict. Very good. <laughs> good. I think it could use some salt. I'm clearly very out of practice vlogging because I just had to run to the, the run to the gas station forgot the word for gas station for a second that's right across the street to get a nine volt battery because my stud finder doesn't come with batteries included that was fancy. I know. I know. dang look at that Bang. I also just now realized that you made the stud finder joke and I just ignored it <laughs> <laughs> the shelves are up frame number one is up Whoop. oh my goodness Look at that. Look at that art by Owlish Art. Oh man. Oh man. It's done by Meg, who is a person at the warehouse. I didn't show anyone at the warehouse today. Did you film at the warehouse? Very briefly. You know one's attention. She just keeps having random things in her mouth as per usual. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's beautiful. Thank you, Logan. Yeah. <laughs> just keep having these experiences and keep not filming them. A while back, Charlie made this chocolate lasagna thing, which might be one of my favorite desserts ever. So I've been slowly eating it and this is the last piece. I just realized that I'm gonna tell everyone that I just ate food off the ground. <laughs> I was just trying to eat it, but it's frozen and I knocked it all over the floor. It's an exciting night here, but it's the last piece, so... Oh, my immune system's ready. <laughs> yeah, the, the, <laughs> the floor's very clean. It's so clean. I'm sure Darcy didn't walk on any of the spot that it was. But yeah, my shelves are up now. I have pictures up now. It's... Is it actually 11.06? Uh -huh. <gasps> I was about to say I have time to like go and watch a movie. I don't, I need to go to bed. Dang it. Oh, I haven't showed you the tree yet. This is an important thing to know about this new living space is we have this cute little tree. And the most important thing about this tree is how much Darcy 
loves the tree, but Darcy doesn't love the tree as much as Darcy loves the fire, which is not currently on, but he will sit as close as possible. There's like a little bed there, but he will put his face right up there because he loves being warm just as much as I do. Aww. It is time to go to sleep. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and then I'm gonna pass out because I am exhausted. It's been a long time since I've tried to vlog my day. Don't hold me to this, but I think I'm gonna try to vlog some when I'm home. I don't think it'll be every day, but I just, I love so much being able to look back on the different years and seeing how they've changed and so I can't imagine going home and not vlogging part of it. Besides, when I was home in October, my nieces were really upset that I didn't have my camera with me and I wasn't making a video. I think that's gonna have to happen. And I told my accountability group that I was gonna be doing more videos this month anyway. Those things have to happen, so at the very least there's going to be videos for that. In general, when thinking about the types of videos I wanted to make this month. I kept going back to this concept of like how much I really love going back and watching videos and seeing how my life was at different times and so being able to do a day in the life or videoing my Christmas or whatever like all of that stuff is super valuable to me. Despite not being super present on YouTube I still absolutely want to make sure to document those things. Why do I feel like I need to end this vlog in a really long way? Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later.